Like it's possible for anybody to get out here and get it in. The question is how bad do you want it? That's, that's the number one question you need to be asking yourself. What's going on world? It's your boy Steve Dab from Custom Car Owners here with another short. It may not even be short to be honest. You know, sometimes I get to talking. That's one of the things I enjoy doing. But I've got another video full of content for you. Some of it may be relevant. Some of it may not come off as being relevant, but it's, it's the story of my life. Hope you enjoy. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so I can get some followers i probably got like two followers now and i don't know the exact number but it's not very many but i'm very appreciative of each and every one of you i am in my favorite vehicle like even once i put my next bill together i'm telling you now this is gonna be my favorite vehicle right here man the dodge caravan man it, I, i'm telling you this thing is so versatile and it's crazy and 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 I, I may even do an entire video one day just about the Dodge Caravan so I can explain all the many reasons why I uh, enjoy it, at least for my lifestyle and how it fits perfect between the kids, family, lawn care, the whole gambit of things. But today on the menu, on the to-do list for today, I'm actually headed to, uh, I'm headed to the bank right now. Um, I've done a little bit, I've done more spending than I ordinarily do lately, so I've got to, I had to write my check. Uh, write myself a check from the uh, bit from one of the business accounts and into my personal account uh, So I can do a couple of the small things one thing you will learn. I am NOT a big spender odds are in 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 you may be able to quote me on this maybe not I don't know but odds are this will not be one of those channels where you get to see me spend a Million dollars a billion dollars and buying Lamborghinis and all all that stuff I think is dope because I watch those videos. I love those videos. I look forward to watching other YouTubers or just whoever, you know, posting videos about their purchases and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Um, just so happens I, I've lived a frugal lifestyle for, for so long. It's like I get, I guess from a, on a personal level, I get great enjoyment out of living a frugal life, you know? So as a result, you know, I can, I can, I can show you how to save money. I can show you a million and one ways of saving money. You know, I can explain to you how I, I usually get $500 worth of free gas every single year, which may not sound like a lot, but when you do it over a 10 year period, it adds up. You know, there's just a lot of small things that I do and this isn't like some type of magical, uh, you know, hidden secrets or anything like that. Just as I think about it, or if people ask me about it, I'll make a video, I'll share with you what I know just as much as somebody else was willing to bless me and share, you know, share their information with me. But anyways, I've digressed. We are headed to the bank right now so that I can get some money out of my account. I try to keep, I try to keep my bank account uh, near empty. Uh, I have what I need in there for, for my monthly bills. I keep everything on auto draft and then the money I spend outside of that is it's pretty limited. Like I said, I don't spend a lot. I don't do very much. Um, so as I'm building this channel, if you see me with things that look like they are, they are nice or, you know, or things you're like, oh man, it must be nice. He must make a whole, I don't make a lot of money. I'm not out here getting it. Currently, YouTube is not giving me a penny. I'm not even close to being able to monetize my channel at the current moment. But my point is, nothing is out of reach. Like, it really just comes down to what your grind is about, what your hustle is about. And, and I'm going to speak... I'm gonna speak more or less on the channel of other people because right now my channel's not to a point where anybody would have a reason to be envious. Or, I mean, I literally I've got the number of subscribers I got right now. I could probably fit them all in the van right now. That's how small the number is, but that doesn't bother me because I know what mission I'm on and I know what my grind is about. I know what my consistency is going to be back, going to be about. Uh, I know the importance of being consistent the entire time. So that's 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 going to be my go-to. That's what I'm going to do. So speaking of those individuals who already got a large channel and they've got you know whether they're buying houses or condos or cars or clothes or jewelry, whatever it is like you you most of the time especially with youtubers 
most of the time they didn't just stumble across the money and all of a sudden they were famous like and look at their wall these are people who've got hundreds of videos and i don't know if you've ever done any video editing but to edit like a 20 30 minute video especially when you're getting started you're looking at almost a whole day's of work and especially if you don't have a fast uh computer so it's like a lot of people are starting from a place similar to that so it's like a constant grind trying to build up that momentum it's something that we all go through something that they all went through something that i'm in a process of going through right now and i'm going to continue going through uh and, and i say all that to say like there's absolutely and of course i'm not speaking to everybody but some of you even some of you who are watching this video i'll probably get a couple thumbs down that's okay but some of you who are watching this video listen there's absolutely no reason in the world to be envious of what the next person got like they they made sacrifices i guarantee it you know maybe that meant not going out maybe it meant standing out late staying out later maybe it meant yeah i don't i don't even know what oh look at that toy oh look at this look at this just pulled up to the light you know what i mean it's one of them things where there's a lot of vehicles i admire and i'll kind of go through and talk about those also but yeah there's absolutely no reason to be envious of any person because the reality is like it's possible for anybody to get out here and get it in the question is how bad do you want it that's that's the number one question you need to be asking yourself if you look at something the next youtuber guy or or any person who who you know personally in life you look at something they got and you think to yourself oh man how'd they get that you got to ask yourself how bad do you want it because anything that you truly want out here like this world cannot stop you The main focus with Simpos Fitness is it's a focus of giving back and that's why I continue to do it. And more than likely I'll continue to do it for the remainder of my life. It's not on a grand scale. You will notice I don't post a ton on social media because uh, the majority of the clients that we have now are baby boomers. And for many baby boom, oh man, bro, I still got the plastic on top of the thing. Hold on y'all, hold on. Man. All right, so look, here's the deal. I am not about to record this video all over again. I can tell you that now, that's not about to happen. Uh, I guess there's plastic on the front screen, back screen still, that's all right. That's not about to happen, so we just go continue on like that never happened. Well, look, I am, uh, I'm up here at the bank. Uh, like I said, I had to write myself a check so that I could actually have some money to do a couple of small things, not, not very much. Actually, I should have had an ink pen. Probably got one in here. All right, so, um for those of you who may be wondering why i'm in a process of writing myself a check right now um from one of our business accounts uh to move to my personal account and for beginners let, let's start here i am not an accountant i i am not an accountant i am not a financial advisor i am not giving you financial advice but i'm more than willing to share the things that i do and how they benefit me throughout life um so the reason why i'm writing myself a personal check is uh What's referred to as an owner distribution it's not a dividend it's a distribution because it takes place before tax so this current business uh that i'm writing from now is uh it's an llc with an s corp election as a result to minimize or to get rid of double taxation with some of the income that we bring in we utilize owner distributions if you want to learn more about that and see if it's uh, appropriate for you please talk to an, uh, an accountant an attorney somebody who knows a lot more than i do i just know enough about it to understand that uh it, it saves me a boatload on taxes each year you know i pay uh, I pay my fair share, but it's definitely made a huge difference making this election over uh, just a regular LLC or sole proprietorship and uh, things like that. So moving on back to the video. So I'm writing this distribution, uh, put a few dollars into my bank account because I know there's a couple other things I need to purchase. Uh, namely today, I'm going to pick up some peat moss and maybe potentially some more grass seed because uh we've got like a warm spurt cup when I, I won't even really say warm but it's only going to get down like the 45 at night and i think with the peat moss i'll be able to get some more grass seed out and uh allow it to get strong enough before the winter hits if it doesn't recover and make it through next year that's absolutely fine you know that's really the least of my concerns i've already got some seed out there so um i'll be heading over to uh tiffany line and garden that's typically where i get my grass seed and fertilizer and topsoil and stuff like that from so anyways i'm gonna sign out i'm sitting in this drive through line i'm sure y'all don't want to sit there and just listen to me continue to talk because that's something i can do forever last thing about me before i get off of this segment of this video i tying back into the whole uh simple fitness thing and being a personal trainer and i am a motivator at heart 
So sometimes you may find that I get loud on my videos, I'll start talking, I'll get excited, I use analogies a lot, but ultimately you'll find that I'm constantly telling you, each and every viewer, each and every subscriber, like, you can do this. You can be better than where you are right now, right? There's another level of ground no matter where you, there's another level of grind no matter where you are, not ground. There's, a, there's another level of ground too, but there's another level of grind no matter where you are in your life right now. I'm hoping this audio and this GoPro picks up well. It's my first day using a GoPro, but listen, I'm I'm about encouraging, I'm about motivating. You'll find that I support a lot of other channels. I even support channels that are 10, 20, 30, 50, a thousand times bigger than my channel currently because I still wanna see them eat and I still wanna see them continue to grow. You know, so it's like, it, we gotta work together, man. You work together with other people. If you do things to help other people, like the world's gonna treat you fair. The world's gonna do you right. I shouldn't even say the world's good. If you do things, if you constantly find ways of giving back and helping other people, that comes back around. You know, I I, I think karma is a real thing. You know, if you go around doing bad or, or being disrespectful and dishonest and treating people wrong, it's gonna come back to haunt you. But if you do right, you know, even when it's not the popular or cool thing to do, when you always do right in your ways, and it's so this so this whole world to take care of you. One of the interesting things you got to get rid of with vlogging, uh, especially when men mobile, is having music off in the background. Because uh, that just creates a huge issue, uh, not now, down the, few, down the line in the future. So. Hi, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Uh, I'm just making a deposit into my primary checking, personal checking. I'm sorry? Is this normally your direct deposit? Is that normally my direct deposit? Yeah. No, it's not. Is that from the same company? Um, it is from the same company. That is an owner distribution. Okay, that's why. Okay, that's how I was wondering. But yeah, direct deposits, it'll come through on the okay. 15th or something. Perfect. I just didn't know if it just hit or something, but that's fine. All right. Oh, no. All right. I'm going to send you out your receipt. You have a great day. Hey, you too. Thank, Thank you. you. I think she was verifying, making sure there wasn't an issue with the company direct deposit because I was making a um, an additional owner distribution. I think I did one maybe uh, last week or something, which is typically uh, typically what I'll do. Uh, typically, what I'll do about once, or well, it depends. Usually about once a month, but again, like I said, between. Between uh, picking up the uh, the GoPro, uh, which again, I'm using right now, and a couple other small things that I've done and a couple other things that I plan on doing in the yard, um, I spent a little more than I normally would. And not, I'm not talking like I didn't spend a bag. I don't have it like that, but you know, I, I've got a pretty consistent, low profile, low key life. I mean, bro, I mean, look what I'm driving, man. That's why, like, even me talking about coming out of retirement, putting a putting a uh, another whip together, like people are like you, because like it's, it's being man, I, I th at my best guess, it's been at least a dozen years, dozen years, fifteen years, well, my fifteen years, maybe even twenty years. I don't, like I've been out the game for a very, very long time, and uh. So yeah, it's just one of those. I, I started going back to car meets and stuff. Uh, started hitting up Midwest Fest because I have a drone. I want to do some aerial footage, and then it all kind of started coming back to me, you know. And I realized how much, how much of a passion it's been for me, you know, and how much I love just the 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 entire car culture and you know looking at everybody's builds. Speaking of which, I, I really want to speak on that, but I think I'm gonna save it for a separate video. But uh. I'm gonna go ahead and record it now. All right, so I just made it to my next destination. Uh, I'm actually up here about to pick up some peat moss uh, for my little lawn care project I'm working on. Let me see. Uh, where they want me to pull real quick. Oh, probably to the next one.
Bozeman. I pick up Pete Moss right here at the last one. Pete Moss? Uh-huh. Black uh, bales? Yeah, just a bale. Oh, I meant. Right All right, right on. All right, so. We bust the UE and the. And the mini smitty. You know, this is one of those moments where I probably should have just brought the truck up here. Hold on real quick, y'all. How you doing, Buffs? Okay, how are you? All right. Appreciate it. There's that. No problem. Have a good one. Alright, let me get these windows up. This battery's getting low. One thing I realized is that I need to uh I need to get a few extra batteries go out this way i know they probably don't want me to but they ain't busy today i need to get a couple extra batteries i thought about it when i was picking up the gopro and i didn't but now that i get an idea of the battery life when recording in 4k i probably will grab a couple a uh, few extra batteries so but neither here nor there in the meantime hey y'all want to see uh i want to see what i got going on with this with this line care stuff y'all want to see what my yard look like i'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all that y'all a little glimpse of my yard so you can see what i be but i spend a lot of my summers doing I mean, a lot, a lot of my time in the summer. All right, stay tuned. So for anyone who may be wondering, this is my lawn right here. I picked up this property May of 2020, I want to say. Yeah, May of 2020. And uh, basically, I oversee it with turf type tall fescue. I've done a lot putting out malorganite, humic acid, a lot of different things. Uh, you can see I've got a kind of a cross stitch at about a 45 degree pattern running right now. Uh, this is my neighbor's line pretty much is what this yard looked like when I got here in May. So I've just really been grinding it out throughout this summer, spending a ton of time out here. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of like this is another one of my passions, something I love doing. Uh, you can see once I got to the back, I just got the stripes running in one direction, at least my most recent cut. Um, but yeah, I actually use a Toro Time Master to do this, a 30 inch mower with a dual 15 inch blade. Um, if you got any questions or want to learn more about, you know, my approach to get my line to look like this, hit me up. But aside from that, make sure you do me a favor, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. See you next time.